Hi, it's V. Let's vibe. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time here, I travel around the place and I show you how beautiful Jamaica is. So if that is something that you'd like to see, just stay tuned. Uh, so today, it's a rainy afternoon, but we're going to a track meet. So if, if you've never seen the National Stadium before, if you don't know where that is, and you want to get just a visual of what it looks like, come along with me. So if you don't, have not subscribed yet, Take a moment, subscribe, and let's drive. All right, so uh, while I maneuver these streets, um, what is something that you remember about the National Stadium? So I always like to ask people this when I'm going to a place that is new to them. For me, look here, I can't tell you. We could have probably talked to you from now still when we reach a stadium but what I remember about the national stadium right because um if you never knew that now you know i used to do track and field but i was a field event athlete dabbling a track every now and then especially in a college but um mainly field events so um i remember track meet Sonat, um, champs, a whole heap of things. Like there's so much that it's it's kind of hard to put into. All right, so let me let me try and relax and then we put it into things. So let's start at the top. Let me see. My first memory of the National Stadium. I think it was, um, I think it was Carifta Trials. I know it was a track meet, definitely. Um, and I was competing. So, what usually happens, you go to the track meets. You go to character trials, it was national junior championships. Whatever, whichever one it was. Um, and, you know, you go and compete and thing. For me, I, I remember also um, just it being an opportunity to see people that you have not seen in a while so let's say for example by now you know so VC is from the western end of Jamaica yeah so you get to see other people that you have met so like when you got stats remember we talked talk about stats I'm sorry about the bumpiness but yeah I'm driving remember when I spoke about stats and the track meet so you would meet people there and then you know, compete and become friends because the thing about sports that I like well track up sports overall but um, that I like is that it, it allows you to win respectfully and lose gracefully. And that is something that I've been able to use throughout my life. So you no know, matter what happens or what I'm taking on, I just have that mentality like, look, it's just a track meet. We have a spikes up, go to the line or go over the bar because I was a high jumper. If you can, Well, you don't know, you wouldn't know my height. <laughs> Unless you see it in some of the videos, but unless you know, yeah, I'm a little bit taller than the usual. So, um, and my thing is, we spike up, we do what we need to do, and at the best, and at the end of it, whomever wins wins, and then we're back to normal. You know, you learn something that you need to to work on, and that, and that is the person's time to win, and that is how I approach life overall. So you know, I can be able to look at somebody who we're doing the same thing and be like whoa you do a good job yeah man or how you do this or what it is because um you know a lot of people don't get that me know me come off of the topic but I that may I say so um so yeah sports and then I played netball too for a while so those things helped me to just grow you know sportsmanship is very important but yeah back to what I remember about stadium now yeah, so it was always an opportunity to, to see people that you've not seen in a minute. I'm always able to compete, get to see where you are. For me, I remember a couple of times being at the stadium, um, headache, migraine because the sun, the sun hot. And you know, um, as a high jumper, you're out there for a minute because you have a few people 
and then you have to do the it's not the heat so it's like the preliminary and then depending on the height that you clear you go to the straight you go to the final and so on and then each height you get three attempts they are school you know but follow me as soon as I have a try, I'll show you all that um but yeah so that is something so I guess it's it, basically the stadium is where it all happened a lot of things took place at the stadium that has helped me to become the person that I am now some of the friends that I have some of the things that I do in life um just overall the adult that I became was because of track and field um I'm gonna turn because I'm in half a tree so I want you all to so there you have it that is half a tree for you this afternoon you're not nothing, nothing quite fancy from what I am seeing but yeah so yeah long long time now long time when we say long we mean long time VC no go and trap me so because of June and you see the whole of June and for me <laughs> me just uh, make sure say this time around I enjoy it so y'all go ahead and enjoy the traffic I will get there open and the traffic already I build up enough. The meet starts at six, so me I hope so by the time we reach a stadium, this so the traffic not too too bad. But yeah, so I don't even know what to tell you all about track and field and how it it has shaped me. But the person that I am now, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I chose track and field. That's it. Because if me try and tell you no, no, see me, just a yeah, it it hard to tell you no. <laughs> tell you just one thing I remember about the stadium. One story that stands out to me though at the stadium, which is not so good, is one of the champs when we have a scale fence because people couldn't behave themselves. And I mean, I love the vibe that comes with champs and I love that thing there, but that was a bad, like, panicky memory for me. But outside of that, good memory stadium. I mean, you know, them have uh, at the other side, I think it's mass camp or something like that. We don't do the parties, but you know, by now, so VC and them party, they're not really, yeah. But um, that that is there as well, and I'll show you a light change, you know. So it's quite rainy. All right, which way may I go now? Should I go all the way through half a tree, or should I, yeah, that neck could be, you know? I go through half a tree and then take, what is that road called? Just follow me. We're in half a tree now, folks. So if you've never seen half a tree before, it's a rainy day, but we're in half a tree. thing so to our left is the emancipation park i've done that vlog already and then there's the pegasus hotel right to our left again but right over so anyway something that i don't think i mentioned about champs that i probably should is that vibe that, that about the national stadium so there are two championships that bring out a lot of vibe one is boys and girls champs like that in and of itself is a whole. Let me tell you something. If you've never been to Champs before, turn around and me I tell them this. You see, if you've never been to Champs before, trust me when me tell it, it's a whole experience. You, if you never, if you, if you're a track and field fan, or if you have a school you bring, and you never got Champs before, you have to experience Champs. Champs is like nothing you ever experienced in your life. If you've been to Pen Relays, I have pen relays of a vibe too. Yeah, 
can't compare to champs, may I tell you. Like, and the, how the schools just come out and represent, come with them, ban them, come with them. Yeah, man, it's a whole thing. If you've never been to champs, check it out. Sure, you're not going to be disappointed. Alright, so we're about to go on Tom Red Camp. But yeah, so it's, it's, it's boys and girls champs and then there's the national championship that too has another vibe because that is when people are trying to um make the national team so whether they're going to the commonwealth games world championships um the olympic games that's where it, it takes place so you know that that's that none of itself you know this day whatever comes with that is is a whole vibe so yeah if you've never checked those out those are two things at the National Stadium that you should probably check out. If you all have any more, feel free to include it in the comments. So on this side of town, we have, we're coming up on the, the well, Edna Manley is going to be on our, this is some about Ibex, Edna Minoya is sit here, Edna entrance, second left, this is, so if you went to Edna Manley, College of the Visual and Performing Arts. Speak of yourself. We just passed it just now. Oh wow, traffic. I go on with the thing, man. And I'm almost six in it. Ah, uh, and I fear I was thinking I was early. So I beg and then you have Stuart. Oh, okay. So they have another showroom around here. You have Land Rover, Jaguar. What else? That's what I saw there. I can't. Yeah. Jaguar and Rover showroom right there. Um, but yeah, people see the traffic here. Yeah? Um, passing bus and to children, hospital for children. Um, it's right to or right over here. A lot of people call it bus stuff. That's where you take kids in the event or anything. Like if they're not feeling well and so on. This one is just to show you up on the hillside here. Yeah? I'm sorry. Ooh, stadium lights on. It's a vibe. People okay, from Swallowfield, that sign is so beautiful. Welcome to Swallowfield. Nice, eh? Look over some folks. You see the traffic on there for the load? I know, so I minded us to come earlier. I mean, I come earlier, which I'm on. I'm sitting black half an hour. A few minutes later, I'm still not really moving. Them something I'm not concerned me because I don't want to keep parking in here anywhere. But I see people going so, and I don't know if they're going inside to the area where they park or what. Oh boy. See them like me, sure now. You see them? Up. They're directing us that way so we can go around and park inside if we want to. I see, I see them. I see the place ram it ram you know? this is about to be nice I am looking forward to this and I can park here yeah, I can go in on any other entrance I'm assuming go in on the one also righty in here now gone me gone I lead in my mind that way like you see me excited I'm just a realize so you see when me come park is when track meet done problem because me all the way up in the thing. Oh boy. Alright. Park with parking now and out we out. Because chat needs start. Alright. My glad bag. A <laughs> joke. But yeah, I'm quite excited. Stay tuned. Folks, this is quite exciting. I mean, I want other people them thing, but <laughs> this is quite nice. Quite exciting, I tell you. A big meat, this is if you know, if you know about track, track and field, and say a big meat. This is the umbrella, I feel a little to what I want it for an idea, yeah, but it has to work. Let me say, as much as rain has fallen, keep them out. So, parking lot full up. Sure, yeah. okay. And it goes all the way back. So, me just come down the side, yeah, look at yeah. And people still are coming. Ooh! But we need to come out of the arena. Okay. Now we do. So my run go inside, but as you can see, rain halted competition for a little bit. Because by now it's a bit heavier and heavier. 
but in the interim i was seeing persons that i knew and all of that see stadium start the crack up jump at them a warm up i don't know what i'm doing here but it's something <laughs> and the races are off i think this is the 400 meters for females that that was going on just now i'm showing you a little bit of triple jump um that took place you know this is a jamaican so i have to show that one though yeah, definitely have to. Yeah, so things are in full swing by now. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity to just get a tips at all the stadium sound when activity are going all on. <laughs> So you get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm just showing you what the stadium looked like. As you can see, some of the seats are empty and that's because of the rain earlier on, but the grandstand is pretty almost full and then some part of the bleachers as you can see but yeah it was quite lively and people were you know they're enjoying themselves i don't know what i'm doing here by the way <laughs> but yeah this is a long jump and i'm just showing you a few clips from what took place there and that's about it you know all in all it was quite refreshing just to be able to sit at a meet watch some other races and see people I'm gonna sit for a long time so it was a good meet it was definitely worth coming out of my bed here I am when we done and all so I'm walking out walking saying goodbye and the whole nine years and enjoying myself while I do by this time I think baby Sham was performing but I was heading back to stadium East. yeah so gain a little different view from the state for the stadium so if you've never seen Stadium East before, watch Oh Lord, we try to cut all the people in face, but uh, this is Stadium East, this is where they play football, or where people warm up, yeah. So there you have it, that was the track meet for you, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next time. Track meet done and trust me, it was a well needed night out. I must say not clocking on a VC out, <laughs> but see what the problem you know. When you go out, the traffic that is there, man, is crazy.